The Bad Batch Season 1 finale brought a fan-favorite location back into Star Wars canon. Shortly after the formation of the Galactic Empire, Project War Mantle replaced clone troopers with conscripted human soldiers. Stripping Topoka City on Kamino of its cloning equipment, Admiral Rampart arrested Nala Se, the chief medical scientist of the Republic's clone trooper program, and had her transported to a secret Imperial facility. StarWars.com has confirmed this is Mount Tantus on the planet Wayland, and this is an important location from the old Star Wars expanded universe now known as Legends. Mount Tantus was first introduced in Timothy Zahn's novel Heir to the Empire. The first novel in the original Thrawn trilogy, it introduced us to many characters that became staples in the expanded universe, including Grand Admiral Thrawn, Talon Card, and Mara Jade. Mount Tantus was an Old Republic fort that Palpatine repurposed as a secret storehouse during the Clone Wars. Containing various objects of interest, it also housed projects developed by Imperial scientists and engineers, as well as treasures from the Empire's conquests. Palpatine's more private treasures were hidden in a chamber deep inside the mountain at the end of a massive labyrinth. The storage facility in Mount Tantus was especially important to Grand Admiral Thrawn's plans in Heir to the Empire. Deep inside the storehouse was a cloning chamber. Using this technology to grow the crew needed for a fleet of dreadnoughts, Thrawn was able to wage a war against the New Republic. So in Legends, this facility was the location of a secret cloning project. And in the Bad Batch, we see Nala Se met on the landing platform by a woman who greets the Kaminoan cloner and indicates the Empire has big things planned for her. The most ominous element here is the woman's attire. She's dressed in the same uniform and patch as Dr. Pershing. If you remember, Dr. Pershing is the Imperial clone engineer in both seasons of The Mandalorian, who was seeking Grogu to be part of his cloning project. And we know that Emperor Palpatine had many cloning projects in operation, including the creation of Snoke and his plan for eternal life by continually transferring his consciousness into clones of himself. Jennifer Corbett, executive producer of The Bad Batch, has said they hope to explore what Nala Se is doing in the second season. So it's safe to say there will be some form of cloning project inside this mountain. Whether it's related to Palpatine's cloning plans, Thrawn building a clone army, or something else entirely, we'll just have to wait and see. I do expect to see the cloning story arc set up in The Bad Batch Season 2 play out in future episodes of The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, or other Star Wars projects. Even if Lucasfilm does not continue down this story path, I love that they have taken the time to give this brief nod to the familiar elements of the Legends universe. This gives us all something to theorize about and discuss. So what do you think we have in store for Mount Tantus? Is it just a one-time setup, or will we see it play out in many different plot lines? Let me know in the comments your thoughts and ideas on Mount Tantus. If you're looking for more Star Wars content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out the next video on the screen. And as always, may the Force be with you.